Hey, how's it going today? Uh, my name is Kyle Cronin. Uh, right now, we're going to be working on the occupation of stand-up paddling. Uh, stand-up paddleboarding is a relatively new, exciting way uh, to go out on the water and have a great time. Um, originally, I was a surfer, but surfing sometimes uh, may seem a little bit, um, I don't know how you would say it, but like it may be intimidating for someone that's just trying out. Uh, there's also like very big waves. So I think stand-up paddleboarding is something that anyone can actually just get up and go do. Uh, for about ages 13 and up, adults could do it, teenagers could do it, anyone could really do it. And that's why I find it, that, uh, that's why I'm really enthusiastic about it and uh, very excited to show you today. Um, for uh, stand-up paddling, I think it would fall into the OTPF, uh, Occupational Therapy Practice Framework, uh, categories of play and leisure. Uh, this is a non-organized activity that you could do and just pick up and go out. Um, you could do it in rivers, lakes, oceans, uh, basically where, anywhere there's a body of water. And uh, it doesn't take much to get started. All you really need is your stand-up paddleboard, uh, you need your paddles, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. Um, next we'll show you all the equipment and how to get started on it. Alright, see you then. Hey, alright, right now we're by the river. And um, it's a little bit rough out today. Preferably I'd like it on a smoother day when there's like not that many waves, but this will have to do. Uh, right now, the equipment that we have are the stand-up paddleboard, the paddle. The paddle you want to be a little taller than you. Uh, you when you're paddling, you can see that the paddle is shaped like this. You're going to be wanting this part right here, the curved end, to be hitting the water. So the motion is going to be like that. You can do one or two strokes, switch arms another two strokes and just continue like that out in the water. Um, another thing that is pretty good to have, uh, it's not necessary, but sometimes if you fall off, uh, which is possible, uh, a loop would be really helpful. We have the leash right here. That straps onto uh, either your left or right ankle, whichever you really prefer. Uh, when you're actually stand up paddle boarding yourself, uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big, it's pretty big. So it's very sturdy and um, it will really uh, maintain a, a good weight balance. Uh, so if you're a little heavier or a little lighter, it would really help out. When you're standing on the pedal board, you want to stand right in the middle. You, uh, you see this thing right here? It's, it will show you where the center is. You want both your feet in between it. Um, one of the great things about standing up paddle boarding is, um, Recently, like a, a couple months ago or a, like a year ago, I've uh, injured and re-injured my ankle. And this is a really good exercise uh, to build uh, muscles in your ankle because you're always uh, balancing. Uh, so say you uh, just went through a uh, rehab or you have um, ankles which you're trying to uh, rehab, you could use it to uh, help build the muscles because it's not that, uh, it doesn't uh, really hurt it that bad and it also like really helps out. Uh, also, it really works at core muscles because when you're going, uh, right here you feel it, uh, in your arms, your shoulders, so you're always like working out and it's just a fun, really really fun way to do it and um, I definitely recommend you trying to try. Um, as you can see, the, it is a little bit uh, wavy out. Usually I prefer just to get on the board and start going. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that exactly, you can always uh, start off by kneeling down on the board. Uh, you can kneel, do a couple strokes like that, and then propel yourself upward. Uh, but usually what I like to do is just get up and go. So right now I'll show you how to do it.
Uh, this is if you want to start up on. Uh, they do have shorter boards, uh, which is more for like going in the ocean and like actually surfing waves. Uh, some things you want to make sure of. Um, just always try to keep your feet right in between this thing. Keep your balance. Um, when you are going, like I said, wall, car, strokes, keep your hand. They'll have like a little area for keep your hand. Keep your hand like right around there. Your right arm, if you're righty, your left arm, if you're lefty, always with your palm right on top of there, like that. Um, but yeah, uh, it's very straightforward, very simple. Anyone can really just go up and try it. And that's what, one of the amazing things about this is. So that's why I wanted to share this occupation with you today. Say you don't feel really comfortable standing up your first time out, uh, you can adapt by going on your knees maybe the first time. You have a sturdier base, you can always just grab onto the board if you don't feel comfortable. Uh, you're not that far from the water, so if you fall in, it's not going to hurt. And um, it's a good way to like get your strokes down and just try out uh, the first time doing it. So um, that was on your knees, that's an adaptive method, and I uh, hope you really want to try this out.